Hey folks, I am going to show you how to use a cutthroat razor. I don't know how to do this thing. And the blade. First things first, you get your face ready and prepped while you're doing that. While that is happening, as you can see, you will see two dots there. And the two dots there to lock it in. And I'll share the link of where I got this thing from. Get your blade. I've already snapped mine in half and just going to use the half. Put it where those two notches are. I like doing it the opposite side so it clicks in. So the two middle bumps will fit in there. And then you can close it with this. Just like giving it. Now that it's locked in, the blade's in there this locks it in even more and then the way to hold it is now depending on which side you're shaving blade down so handle will be up and then depending on which how many fingers you want to use at the back your holding grip is this way to do this side and then uh, holding grip is this way to do that side get it prepped And you want to do it at about 45 degree angle because if you do it too flat then it's going to scratch you if you do it too sharp it's not going to give a good cut 45 degree angle pull the skin where you want it to start and then let's start going As you can see, I have a few cut marks. Usually I have it up there because it's hard to angle those areas. Here I just have some bumps and uh, again, because of that butt chin, I have that uh, issue there. So, once you're done, I like my coconut oil. Helps me with everything, all the sealing. For the blade, just pop it out again. Give everything a wash. I personally use these maybe once or twice because they're very thin and if I don't dry them properly I can feel the, the rash or the itchiness and the soreness after shaving. So let it dry properly somewhere. Any questions let me know and I'll talk to you. See you in the next one.